it's nice there, but what happens if one of the surgeons or someone touches the patient? If you get a later answer, the first nothing, nothing, and the third you get a small answer, this could be an, 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 uh, an artifact by someone who touches the hand or the surgeon who moves the table. So, uh, and then the count remains nothing because it even cannot be zero. <laughs> And the next one, where no one was touching, it's again zero. So if you don't get, if you see later answers, the count will still be uh, n not countable, uh, but is assumed to be zero. Uh, uh. Some systems then give here a value one, two, or three. If it's uh, detected later on, this system is great in it. It doesn't show any number when the first uh, stimulus is uh, missing. Again, you see here, someone touches, and we see a late, the fourth train of force stimulation did give an answer, and this is an artifact, so the count should be zero or even uh, not to be displayed, huh? and we have to wait. If you see a value from your train of four, you always have to wait for a second or a third measurement to confirm this value. So never go on one measurement alone, because it could be a wrong interpretation that could be having something. So always use two or three stimulations before you decide on what the level of neuromuscular blockade is.